Sally and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be kind of catching everyone up on what I've been reading lately and what I'm planning on reading for the rest of March even though we're basically in the middle of March at this very moment so I feel like it's a little overdue but I mean better late than never right? So starting off on what I'm currently reading right now is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I started this book I think yesterday and I am loving it so much. It is so amazing. So this book is basically told as an interview so there's no actual like narrative it's just people telling the story of both Daisy Jones and then the band The Six and kind of their history together and the way that they both began separately and then came together. So I'm only, I'm not even like halfway through the book yet so I'm not entirely certain on what happens but that's basically the general idea of this book. So if you didn't know, I've been taking a rock and music history kind of class and this is like right up my alley right now. It's like perfect for exactly what I'm studying. So it's been really, really interesting getting to kind of jump back in time to like the 1960s, 70s era and I am loving it so, so much. I really love this very unique style of writing as an interview and it's really interesting to get to see the sort of this like history, this one story told from multiple different perspectives without it actually being a narrative. I think that's really, really intriguing and it's working so perfectly in this book. All the voices are really distinct, even though there's like at least 10 different characters, maybe more. And it's just so interesting and I'm really loving it. I tried reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo uh, but I just didn't really like it that much and I'm really disappointed about that. But I'm glad that I decided to pick this book up because I'm absolutely loving it. It's so good and I already 100% recommend it to everyone. Like I really hope that I continue to like it, but I think that that's just going to hold up through the rest of the book. So I'm not too concerned about it. The other book I'm currently reading came out recently and that is A Question of Homes by Brittany Cavallero. And I have been currently reading this book for a little while now. I am on page 54 and I'm really trying to take this book pretty slow. I'm not in a huge rush to finish it or anything. I am absolutely in love with the series as you guys know. I love the Charlotte Holmes series so so much and this is the final installment of that series and I'm feeling a little sad that it's ending so I really don't want to finish it too fast and I don't want to just breeze right through it because you know this series means a lot to me. I really love it and I don't want it to be over just yet so I'm still kind of you know taking my time. It's very very short. I don't even think it's 300 pages it's a little over 250 so it's a super super short book like I said but you know I just don't want it to be over yet I'm not ready so I have been just like reading little bits and pieces of it here and there so hopefully I'll finish it by the end of the month but even if I don't it's totally fine I just don't want the series to end I mean I know I always have the audiobooks they're so good I totally recommend reading this series as an audiobook However, you know, I'm just sad. So, you know, let me read this at my own pace. I feel like all the books I'm gonna show you guys I'm like currently reading. But the next one that I'm currently reading is Othello by William Shakespeare. I've gotten within the first scene. <laughs> um, so I'm not like super far into it, but I've started it and I am really, really enjoying it. I love the characters already. Like they're so good and I can really see why this is some people's favorite play and it's really good and I'm really hoping that I will enjoy it throughout the entire play. But yeah, I'm also really excited to find an adaptation of this play because I've never seen it. I don't really know too much about what it's actually like about. So it's really interesting to kind of see this unfold for the first time with no preconceived notions and stuff like that. So I think this will be really, really interesting. Another book I'm technically currently reading is this one. Ooh, that was a bright glare. It's Strange a Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and I am like about seven pages into it. 
so not that far into it it's not like I'm like in the middle or anything but I am really enjoying it so far like I just wanted to read the first few pages because you know I was curious and I am loving this book so much so far I really like the writing style of this one compared to her other series I can't remember what it's called Daughter of S Sh Smoke and Bone Daughter of Shadow and Bone Shadow Sh Smoke and Bone I think it's Smoke and Bone. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I'm pretty sure. I know I have the book somewhere, but mm, I don't really know where it is. But I did try to read that book a few years ago and I wasn't super into it, but I'm really loving the writing style in this book so far. Basically, this book is kind of like Atlantis, The Lost Empire, at least from like my understanding of what this book is about. There is a lost city called Weep and then there is this guy and he is super obsessed with Weep I'm pretty sure. See I don't really know what this book is about. I just am always thinking of it as basically Atlantis The Lost Empire so imagine that plot line with Milo Thatch and Atlantis and stuff like that but as a YA book, you know, so it's a little different, but it's kind of the same. And I have heard so many good things about this book from people I really trust, from people who have similar reading tastes to me, even similar Hogwarts houses. So I feel like that kind of holds a little bit of weight as well. And I'm just really excited to read this book. I'm sorry if it keeps like blinding you because I keep moving the book. I will try to keep it from glaring, but I'm really excited about this one. And also this book I actually got from a Planned Parenthood book sale. So I think I got it for like, let's see, I got it for $5. So that's pretty cool to have this uh, hardcover book for $5 and I am so excited to read it this month. I've been dying to read it. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one. The next book on this TBR is one I haven't started yet, but I actually have read in the past. And that is The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. And I read this book, I think back in my senior year of high school, my junior senior year. It was one of those years, I think I was still in high school and I read this book and really, really enjoyed it. Then I like half read the second book, really enjoyed it, but never finished it. So I'm really excited to finally have every book in the series so I can finally, you know, read all of it and get it checked off of my list. And I've been really dying for some more fae centered books, especially after reading and loving The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King. I just felt like this like huge gap in my heart of like, I need some fairy books. I need some books about fae, something, just give it to me. And so this immediately came to mind and I ended up buying all the books from thrift books. So they really came through. They're gorgeous. They're in such a good condition. And I'm so excited to start this one and get back into this world because I know I really enjoyed it as a teenager. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it now too. Okay, so those are all of my really high priority books. So now I wanna get into some of the books that are a little bit lower of a priority and aren't like super important for me to finish this month. So all these books are sequels to books I either finished last year or this year. And I really wanna get these done ASAP so I can move on in the series and the first one is The Shadow Hour by Melissa Gray and I read the first book in this series for the Latinx book bingo readathon last year really enjoyed it absolutely loved it it's very like magical realism fantasy kind of book and I got this copy from book outlet and I'm so 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 excited to get into it Basically, the first book was, as I said, very magical realism. It's about these people and there's like, they're kind of like half human, half bird. <laughs> and it was just really interesting. It was one of like the most intriguing fantasy novels I've ever read and I totally recommend it. I think I have a review for it. So if I do, I will leave it linked down below. But yeah, I really enjoyed the first book and I think I'm really going to enjoy the second book. I was so ready for the second book and then I never really got into it. I never actually like picked it up when I finally bought it. So I really hope that I will get to this at some point. If not in March, then definitely in April. The next sequel is The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. And this is part of the Young Elites series and I have loved it so, so much. I gave the Young Elites five stars and the Rose Society four stars. So I'm really excited to get to this book because this is the 
completion of that series. It's the very last book and I feel like I'm really going to love this one. I've heard from people who really love the series that this book is definitely really good. I've heard from other people who are kind of met about the series that this book is like kind of like the worst one out of the trilogy so there's very different opinions based on like how you feel about the series. So since I really love this series I feel like I'm really gonna like this last book and I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope that I do because I love Marie Lu's writing. Like her writing is just so perfect and beautiful especially in this fantasy series. I read War Cross I think two years ago and I really loved that one so you know I never actually got to the sequel which I probably should but I just never think about it. Um, anyway that was a tangent. I was absolutely blown away by the first book last year and love it so so much so I'm really really excited to get to this one. It's not too long so it shouldn't be like a super difficult read but I'm really looking forward to it. And the very last book that I want to try to read in March or possibly April at some point is this one, Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. And this is definitely the biggest book on this list. It's giant. And I read The Diviners last year. I think it was one of the last books that I read of the year. And I loved it so, so much. And that was a book that I had had kind of a difficult history with. I had tried to read it several times as an audiobook and I could never finish it for some reason. So I finally was able to pick up a copy and I read it and it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And then I was able to pick up Layer of Dreams and I love this copy so much, it's so pretty. And I am just ready to get into this one because I've heard from a lot of people that this book is even better than The Diviners. So I think that this one will definitely be a really highly rated book for me. At least I'm hoping. I don't want to give it too much expectations, but you know, it's kind of hard when you've heard so many good things about a book. But anyway, I'm really excited about this one. It's the sequel to The Diviners. And I've heard that a lot of fun characters come into this book and a lot of like fan favorites. So that's really exciting as well. And I really, really hope that I get to this book in March. If not, it'll definitely be in April or at some point in the year. You know, I, I go back and forth with like wanting to read this book in October and then wanting to just be like, who cares when you read it? But yeah, so I don't know. I, I really hope that I get to this book in March or April. It doesn't really matter to me. But I just really want to get this book done at some point and have it under my belt and ready to go. And yeah, so I'm really excited about it. All right, so that was my entire March TBR. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are reading currently in the month of March or what you're planning on reading for March or even April. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!